Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I wanted to make this video for girls, women, females, femmes, especially my younger girls. I would consider myself somewhat young, somewhat youthful. I mean, I'm 22. I just turned 22 in June. And this video is coming to me because for so many reasons, but basically what you should know is there's a lot of converging signs in my life right now telling me I need to like talk my shit and like just, mm, do you see there's seaweed in my teeth? <laughs> talk my shit and just like put it out there and don't give a fuck. Okay, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Um, uh, my One of my favorite YouTubers on here who I've learned so much from and gotten a lot of in, um, inspiration from, her name is Svetlana's World. I will link her down below. She has a video called Calling All Girls with Big Egos. And um, this is kind of similar, okay? Like a little bit of a similar idea to that video. But I keep getting these um, signs the past few days. I've just been very fucking tapped in. But I got, <clears throat> I got symbols in um, <laughs> the fucking Barbie movie today in um my natal chart reading or not my, my sinistry chart reading that i did with astro d uh yesterday that's another person you guys need to tap into especially for astrology um and then what was the other time that it came up for me there's one other instance it came up for me but the point is um i want to talk about not shrinking yourself and this is something that like i think a lot of us hear but um Maybe we don't actually take in and internalize and like practice this shit, which is something I am intending to do. And it starts with this video. It starts with all my videos. Um, it starts with the way I present myself to you guys. Sometimes I feel like I have to be like really buttoned up and like perfect. No, <laughs> fuck that with my cussing and everything. Okay. If you're here for me, you're here for me. If you're going to ride for me, you ride for me. Um, so girls, let's really, really get into it now. Um, so a lot of us have issues, I feel like, in our lives because we are waiting for permission to, like, live our lives. We're waiting for permission to enjoy our lives. We feel like we need a, and maybe not everyone because not everyone's heterosexual, some people are bisexual, like the, like the spectrum is so wide. But I'm gonna talk for like girls who like boys, like, you know, in that, in that way. Um, because I think a lot of us get tripped up seeking that male validation, right? So there's a reason for that, right? First, it's almost like guys, a lot of guys in this world the, the reason why the patriarchy is like fucking like ruling everything is because guys a lot of the times come into this like life with their egos and their egos like they feel like it's hard to explain but there's this idea of like they don't have to apologize for shit right they just know that like it's okay to like and you fucking love or love or hate them right like a lot of these guys are assholes but like they just have this idea that it's okay to be themselves no matter how fucking shitty they are. They aren't like, a lot of them aren't, a lot of them aren't waiting for the approval of others to do things. Now, um, I mean, one could argue that like a lot of it doesn't really fucking matter anyways, cause it's all built on appearance, right? Um, appearances and status and whatever, like it's not that actually like fucking important. But the point is, is guys don't really like wait for someone to say, it's okay for you to like, like do this or like show up for this or like whatever um that's also like in um let's just say like let's use jobs as an example right um i think i saw something that like women will only apply for jobs that they're like pretty much like 100 percent qualified for that they're sure they could like potentially bag guys will apply usually for jobs that they're like okay like i have like 60 percent of qualifications and the thing is a lot of them get it because again, a, women, there's this disconnect for a lot of us in um, knowing that we're worthy and we don't have to fucking ask permission for anything. We also don't need to change ourselves to please men. Now, for people who like men, like for girls who like men, we lose ourselves a lot of times 
and we aren't present in our realities, we aren't dressing the way we want to, we aren't, or at least the way that makes us feel confident. Like I feel really, I know that sounds weird, but I feel really fucking confident in my little Charlie XCX shirt and hoops and like a little bit of tension moisturizer on, you know? Like I feel good right now. Like it really, like I feel fine. Um, and I feel cute. I also feel really cute when I get to dress like, kind of like 70s, kind of like flowy, like flower girl shit too. Like I love that shit too. Um, where we go wrong is when we try to change the way we dress, change the way we look, change the way we talk, change the way we act to please men. Um, no, no, that's not what, how it's supposed to go. That's like not what we're supposed to do, but that's what we think we have to do, right? Because we kind of get lost in the sauce. We see men as the prize. I'm not saying that men are horrible. Like men are awesome too. Like they have their own awesome things and unique quirks and whatever. But, and I also don't mean this in like a sprinkle sprinkle way. <laughs> like what I just mean is like, sometimes if you're a girl who likes a boy, you forget that you're also fucking awesome. Sometimes you just forget and that's okay. Like that's okay, like it happens to all of us. But pull your energy back and realize how fucking awesome you are, okay? Um, I'm gonna link everyone who I'm talking about, like every like resource, because uh, these thoughts that I'm echo echoing to you, obviously I'm delivering in my own unique way, but they are also like are little pieces and bits of other people who have taught me that I'm really grateful for. So let's get into Jupiter now, right? So I was watching this um, YouTuber, I forget her name, but again, I will link it down below. She was talking about the idea of Jupiter in the chart, the idea of Jupiter as, which is like controversial, like for certain people, like, because some people will say like, Venus is it, or Juno is it, or like, whatever, like, you know, is, represents this in the chart. But her idea is that Jupiter, your Jupiter, your expansion, obviously depends on aspects or whatever, but like your Jupiter can often indicate your partner, the way that you grow and that you expand in this life with a partner. And so she was talking about Oh God, she has so many, she had so many amazing like uh, explanations of it. Um, how like men sometimes like, let's just talk about sex real quickly. Men, right? When they come, it's just like they come. It's like quick, think speed of light, right? Women, our orgasms are more like, like shaky, like full body, like right? And like really like effective. Um, it's slower, it's slower, right? But it's also low key more powerful. It's vibrational. That's why it's like, um, we shake sometimes we have like orgasms and stuff it's like full body right it's intense so it's sound versus light like men are the light in that sense um i don't mean like they're more light energy but like they're like light like quick right and women are more slow we're like we're patient right and um oh fuck why did i bring that up i promise i was gonna i promise i was going somewhere with that jupiter jupiter okay so like think waves right with women think waves think jupiter think uh like oceanic almost women are like oceanic and like fuck why did i bring this up i swear i'm making a point y'all we'll, we'll come back to this women are oceanic um we're very expansive right but there's this whole idea of like reflection almost with jupiter like it's a mirror energy almost she does a way better job at explaining this i don't know if i'm making sense to anyone but basically the point is, is like, okay, men, right? They come in and they know, like, they have this base level of worth that women often, we, we feel like we need, it takes us more time to see. So that's the whole point with like the, the waves and the oceanic thing. It takes us, it takes us longer to acknowledge our worth, to see our worth. And so sometimes we will, and also men want everything quick, right? The mistake we make as women is when we also want everything quick and we try to be like men and like, we try to like, like, I don't know, like we try to like be like, pick me, pick me, pick me, right? Because we don't, usually we're saying pick me, pick me because we want the reflection back to us, showing us our worth. But the issue is, is like, no one's gonna, I know like this sounds very like new age, like self-help, but it's true. She explains it in a really, really good way. So again, I'm gonna link her video down there for the Jupiter video. Um, but no one can really like, see a woman period until the woman sees herself until the woman sees how fucking awesome she is and doesn't fucking change that doesn't change the way she dresses doesn't change the way she presents herself for a man doesn't change the way she talks um if you're a fucking loud mouth like me you don't fucking change the way <laughs> that you are you fucking be awesome you talk you curse you 
do whatever because pe there's people that aren't gonna like that but there's people who are right and those are your people let me sneeze oh could i sneeze okay i'm not gonna sneeze but um hopefully i'll get to sneeze in like a few if it comes back up but the point is um my Jupiter is in Gemini, right? Which is why I'm such a fucking blabber mouth, right? That I'm talking to you here, I'm cursing, I'm just like words mile a minute, you know, like just out the ass, wazoo. And I used to, and even now, like, especially in work, work is a great example of like where I will shrink myself. It's like, I'll try to like pull back, right? I'll be like, oh, like maybe I shouldn't talk as much. And sometimes I just don't have the, the energy to, like sometimes I, I don't wanna talk just cause I don't want to. But sometimes I have things to say and it's like, I pull myself back because I'm like worried about how they're gonna be judged. No, I need to speak my mind. If I don't like something, I can just say it. Like I need to stop worrying about how that's received by other people, especially how it's received by men. So when we really like a man, ladies, like it's really like, we kind of become obsessed. And so we'll wrap our whole world around the idea of this man. Men with their quickness, right? Men like wanna hop here, 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 here. Um, and the reason they want to hop hop here 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 is because they like they're trying to chase it's almost like they're trying to chase the next thing the next feeling like and they like you know do you know what i mean and um the thing is is especially if it's a man who's like just chasing looks or, or like beauty and if you mirror that or like if you base your your life around that man who is only going to like care about looks or whatever the fucking case is or like cleaning his house or shit right that's fine but there's an expiration on that that gets fucking tiring you can only keep that facade up for so long and i mean that like both energetically for you but also just energetically as a like as a human as a woman you're going to age right so it wouldn't really do you good to like if you want to create something lasting and again women were about lasting things waves and withstanding things it's like if you want to create something lasting with a person, with a partner, with a man, changing yourself, basically what's going to happen is that's just going to be mirrored back to you. So if you change yourself to fit his, like, his, um, his standards or whatever, and he's really fucking vain, at the end of the day, like, at the end of the day, like, he can find someone pretty or whatever, so he's just going to leave you. Um, and then you're going to feel like shit. You're going to even feel worse, right? because you're like, okay, well, I lost the beauty contest. Like, it's just gonna make you feel like shit, right? So then how does this come into the idea of men, right? And also like, also I guess, um, well, I wanted to make one more comment. Yeah, 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 okay. So the way I see this, right? The way I see this whole sort of thing is like, if you are not, so A, okay, A, if you, if you do not see yourself, like if you do not accept yourself for everything that there is about you, for me, this big ass nose, hello this big ass forehead um what else is something i used to be insecure about um oh my chin my chin is kind of like it's like really pointy um if i don't fucking accept myself for everything i am a blabbermouth a know-it-all like a bitch sometimes you know someone who's who can be very decisive and like what they like someone who can be indecisive but i don't accept myself for all of that if i don't see all of that within me and say that's okay if i don't see that then people are not going to be drawn to me or like the the right people won't be drawn to me it's like if i don't see how awesome i am and how fucking divine i am and all of this craziness then no person is gonna see me no man is going to see me especially um men if they if they know what's good for them this sounds like <laughs> this sounds like preachy but like if Men can either decide to go the route of like just quick little like hookups and flings or whatever and vain shit, or if they're smart, the the smart man knows that he needs like a strong withstanding queen by his side, right? And so the right man will will also take that time to wait and to build that connection up, right? And to like find the woman who is best his his amazing ideal right so then we get back to this idea of the dream girl if you don't see yourself as a like a dream girl you being awesome it's not going to attract the men whose dream girl you actually are which is at the end of the day what you fucking want in my opinion if 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 we're playing this like reverse psychology game right like saying that if you say you want a man right well the most logical way to do that like is to see yourself as a fucking dream girl that you are but you have to accept yourself and everything about you 
and un be uncompromising, okay, about how fucking awesome you are. We shrink ourselves in so many scenarios, in so many situations. And all that does is, again is attract ourselves, attract the, the vain people to us, the people who only care about looks, who um, want you to be a meek version of yourself, to shrink yourself, to make them feel masculine. And the correct man for you will not will not do that. It's just as simple as that. If you are a if you are his Jupiter to me is also about like the like Neptune's dreams or whatever, but Jupiter is about growth, expansion, fertility. And it's dreamy to me when you get those wishes fulfilled, right? It's it's powerful and Jupiter's opportunity to bring to the it's like Venus can bring riches and beauty, but like Venus can bring opportunity, which is like more long lasting, right? And so we get into this idea again of the dream girl. Why would you want to be why would you want to be someone like in someone's life? Why would you want to be married to a guy or dating a guy who you're not his fucking dream girl? That's gonna fucking suck for you and him because your intimacy, like he's not going to be able to show up for you in the way you want. And I'm not saying like side seduction here for the for those of you who are still listening, you're like, I don't know, I don't trust this bitch or whatever. If you stop fucking caring, like, <laughs> if you stop fucking caring about how you're perceived, the funny thing is, and you start just being yourself, the funny thing is, is you might very well attract the guy you want anyways. Um, but the point is you really shouldn't fucking care. I know it's it's so like easier said than done when you're like attached. Like I, I completely get it because baby I've been there up until even re very recently. But um, when it comes to being a, yeah, being in a relationship, why would you want to be in a relationship with a guy who you aren't his fucking dream girl? I was having this conversation with my astrologer with Astro D the other, yesterday and just like, you know, certain people have different things in their charts that make them attracted to go towards certain things, right? And um, those don't necessarily indicate that you can't be with someone or you can't make some anything work. It might indicate proclivities or things like that, certain placements. But if the real point of that is, is like, if you aren't that person's dream or you don't see yourself as like valuable, right? And you aren't that person's dream, why do you wanna fucking be in their life? Like they're, again, they're not gonna give you the int intimacy you need. They're not gonna give you or show up for you in the way you need. It's gonna be an uphill battle. There's gonna be so much resistance and you're both probably gonna be fucking miserable because it's like, you're trying to get him to see your worth and you don't fucking see it. She, he can't see you. He can't see you, baby. Like he, he really can't see you. I know it's like, sounds like maybe I'm preaching to the choir, but like, it's very true. So this is to all my girls, like start seeing how fucking awesome you are. Go watch the Barbie movie, bitch. Go watch the Barbie movie, bitch. Um, go watch the Jupiter video. I'm going to link down below from that one astrologer. Tap into the Svetlana video calling all girls with big egos. Um, what's another, what's another good one? Oh, tap into Astro D stars and all her astrology and sinistry stuff. But why would you want to be someone's, first of all, fucking see yourself. See yourself for all your amazing qualities, for all your weaknesses. See yourself for all of that and fucking accept yourself wherever you're at, okay? You see yourself as that fucking worthy person because you are, okay? Don't wait for permission from anyone else to like live your life, you know? To dress however the fuck you want, to be whoever you are. Don't fucking apologize. Be you, okay? Be you. Whatever that is, okay? Don't ask for permission because you are already worthy. I know we really want that mirrored back to us. The funny thing and the paradox of it all is as soon as we do, like as soon as we we give that to ourselves and we realize, oh shit, like I actually don't really like, I actually don't need a man. Like I'm actually good on my own. Like I actually don't really care that he didn't text me back or I don't really care about this. The funny thing is, is they often do the shit we want them to anyways. Like they'll text back or whatever. It's like, it's so hard to, it's the paradox, you know? So like it's when we're too attached to things that can't come in. But see yourself for being the fucking awesome light in this world you are, okay? You're not a piece of shit. You're amazing. You're the most beautiful girl ever, okay? With all your little quirks and all your beautiful things. That's another thing we do as women. We like, we'll pick on ourselves, right? So like me with my nose, right? Most people, like, or at least the, the people who are really gonna like be important to me and ride with me and like take care of me and nurture me and nourish me, those boys, 
have they don't fucking care about my nose in fact maybe they see it and they, they're like oh it is big but they're like they're like they fucking love it even more you know women we will pick the stupidest little fucking flaws in ourselves and i'm not like trying to invalidate our experiences but like we will pick the stupidest stu like stupidest fucking little things that no one else notices and use it as an excuse to like shrink ourselves or not be ourselves like you're fucking beautiful okay I know I can't force you to see that, but I just hope this like little pep talk is like helping more than anything. And again, if you aren't someone's dream girl, that's fine because you're a million other people's dream girl. Like, and again, why would you want to keep a man around who isn't even like seeing you as his dream girl? That's gonna suck for not only for him, but for you. That's not gonna be fun. So much resistance, not gonna be fun. He's gonna resent you, you're gonna resent him. It's just like you are so many people's dream girls. There's all these potentials, right? But stop forcing it, okay? Stop forcing it. And I know, because I've been there. Like, I, I've been there. And I'm not saying that if you're, like, obsessed with someone right now or, like, you're in love or you really, really like someone right now. I'm not saying they could never be your person. But what I am saying is, like, you need to see you first, okay? We need women. We need to validate ourselves first. And the funny thing is it's going to come right as soon as you fucking see yourself. It's gonna come right back at you because that's just that's just the way it works, okay? As soon as you see yourself, no one can see a woman until she sees herself, okay? That was the major takeaway from that Jupiter video. I'm gonna share with you guys in the comments. But I hope I did an okay like video summarizing. But I really saw myself here in this video. I was just trying to give you guys a pep talk, a boost, especially my young girls, okay? Don't fucking wait for permission. Don't wait for you to get a man to feel worthy. You're fucking worthy right now. The right guy is going to find you because he's fucking searching for you okay he's searching for you you are his dream girl as you are you don't have to change shit okay so you're awesome okay i love you guys so much and um if you see me being really expressive obviously i have waves like right now i'm in a really like high energetic emotional wave so maybe like when i'm in a lower one like i'll be more calm or whatever like i get in my moods and things but if you see me passionate right now, it's because I am. Okay, this is me. This is Cameron. Hi, world. Hello, world. I hope. Um, I hope, hope that this is helpful to you in some sort of way. Um, maybe to you, it sounds like I'm like I have a big ego and I'm just like ranting and rambling and I'm fucking psycho. That's okay. I'm meant to accept myself this way because this is the way that I am in this moment. Good example. Okay, but I hope that you guys are seeing me and seeing that and. Um, I just hope that this is helpful to you guys, okay? I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like if you liked it. Go ahead and um, subscribe if you haven't already. I hope this message gets to you. And I also um, love your comments. I love reading what you guys have to say. Um, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. I just love, like, I don't know. I love talking. Talk to me, okay? I'm a Jupiter and Gemini. Speaking of the Jupiter shit, I'm a Jupiter and Gemini. I'm a blabbermouth, especially when it relates to spirituality and self-help and the mystical and the esoteric, the shit, like how this shit works, this matrix and this like illusion, this Maya works, okay? I love fucking talking about that shit because it's in my 12th house. So I'm gonna continue to talk my shit and um, talk your shit with me in the comments, okay? I love you guys. Talk soon, bye.